Hey everybody, this is Jen with Genco Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to create this dot pattern. And if this looks a little familiar, it's because I used it behind my uh, comic text video uh, illustration that I did a while back. So I've had a special request and somebody wants to know how I created this dot pattern. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I've got another document going here, so we're just going to jump right in. Now this is the dot pattern. I pulled it over from my um, asset panel. Um, and I've reduced the opacity because we're going to work right on top of it. And what I've done so far is I created the first line of dots. Okay, so what you're going to notice is, is really this whole pattern is once you get set up with the pattern that you like, the dot pattern that you like, that you want to use, you could use squares, uh, all small dots, um, you could do random size of dots, anything is possible. Once you get one row or one uh, stack, whatever you want to call it, column, set up, then it's just simply a process of copying and pasting. Now, if you'll notice, the pattern I made is kind of circular, and it's a little bit more random on the outside. Towards the inside, there's like five rows here that are the larger dots, and then it's like two rows of each size after that, and then they, they get smaller, and then some random ones. Um, something to remember and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see something here. I want to show you a little bit how Affinity Designer helps you make a pattern like this. Okay, so get your move tool which is um, B on your keyboard and we're going to use V okay for your move tool, H for the hand so you can move your document around okay and then of course I got my zoom set up uh, on my mouse scroll wheel and I showed you how to do that in another video. So what I want to show you here though is, is pretty much uh, how Affinity Designer helps you get these equally spaced, okay? So this is not an equal space between these two, these two, okay? So I left a couple of these to, let me ungroup these, so that's Command Shift G to ungroup, um, or Control Shift. So these I kind of left a little bit off so that I could show you. Now when I start to move them, Oh, here we go. See how Affinity Designer gives you all the indicators right there. It gives you the line down the center. I can't move my mouse or it'll go away. But the line down the center of the dot shows you they're all in alignment center-wise. Then if I move it a little bit to one side, it, it'll tell me when they're aligned to the edge. And then there's a number in between the two that changes, if you notice. See, it'll tell me when it's equal to or comparing to um, vector elements that are around it. Okay, so this is what makes it really easy for you to line up your dots and get your first row or stack all squared up. And never mind the fact that my, um, my original here is a little off. If you notice, the, some of the circles were kind of elongated I'm not exactly sure what happened with that, but when I was creating it, I was doing a lot of stuff to it, so um, it looks like they didn't stay perfect circles, but it still worked really good in the illustration. So for this, I'm trying to show you what it looks like if it keeps if they keep perfect circles. Okay, so that's how you get them to move. That's how you can get them all squared up and lined up, and then it really is just a process of copying and pasting. So we'll go back to our move tool. Okay, I want to put all these in a marquee, and that's uh, simply click and drag, and what you're going to do is enclose the items that you want to select in this marquee, and it temporarily groups them as far as just highlighting them all together as a group. Then you can do Command Shift, or uh, excuse me, Command C and, com and Command V, or Control C, Control V for a copy and paste. So copy and paste, and then of course it pastes right on top. So you just drag it over, and it shows you when it's all lined up. Do that again, and drag it over. See how it's showing me how it's all lined up? Let me get a little bit closer so you can see. Okay, see if I can still capture that group. All right. So see how it does that? It really helps you just center everything. It's really nothing that you have to do. I do have snapping on, which is on up here, okay? And I only have it the snap to the guides and snap to a spread, okay? I don't have the grid on or the forcing pixel 
uh, alignment or anything like that. So just the simple snapping. And that's pretty much how you create this. Now I'm going to spend the whole time, the whole video and have you watch me do this because there's one thing I've learned doing these videos and then that is that I, I don't draw very well when I'm talking. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this and then I'll come back and close up the video and um, if you really like my videos, show me some love. Hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate that. So let me go ahead and finish this and I will check back with you in a minute. Okay, so that's our completed dot pattern. A couple of things I want to remind you of in using the tools um, to make this nice and easy. First of all, you could create just half of this pattern, um, capture it in a marquee, copy and paste it, and then flip it. And if you're not familiar with that uh, sequence, let's see, I'll zoom in here and show you. Uh, let's just capture a couple dots here and drag them over. Okay. Now, if you want to say this is half your uh, pattern, you want to just capture that, you would copy and paste it and then uh, flip it over using um, these alignment tools up here in the top and then drag it to the other side. Okay. You can also make sure you use, uh, don't forget to use your um, alignment tools this way where you can align by the center or the edge of your vector object, either horizontally or vertically. Okay. And one last thing to remember is when you are creating ellipses, if you hold down the shift key when you drag the bounding box, it'll keep it a, a perfect circle. Okay. Now, when you are working with a group, if you want to turn it like this, you want to hold down that shift key and you'll get it automatically snap at like 15 degree increments. Okay, so that makes it nice and easy to, to stay lined up. Okay, so one last thing I want to remind you of that you don't know yet. And that is I've made available um, the entire file, Affinity Designer file for this video that I made, which is the comic text video. And with the file, you get, of course, all the layers and everything, and it's all still workable. Um, nothing's locked, okay? You get the asset, the Comic Dots asset that comes with it. You'll get the palette that goes with this um, particular lesson, okay? And you get all that. You can get it on my website at gencodesigns.com, and just go to uh, the video, or you can go to the shop, and it's, and it's uh, right there. So that's available if you just want to go ahead and get those comic dots and not have to make them yourself. There's our dot pattern. Have fun with this. This is a great tool you can use in the back of a lot of your illustrations. So thanks so much for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon so you get a notification every time I do a new video. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night.